Hello fellow plot questers and today we got Agatha Christie's murder in Mesopotamia and well, let's get straight into the review. So since this is a mystery book, I will not actually spoil the ending or the plot twist, but I'll explain the premise and I'll give my take on the analysis and generally how Agatha Christie does her craft. So let's get straight into it. So the plot. So the premise is this, we're in an archaeological site and we are in the Middle East, in Mesopotamia, of course we are. And the narrator is not actually Poirot as it is for as usual because Agatha Christie doesn't like to do that. Instead, it is Nurse Leatherin. I don't know how to pronounce it. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And basically, Dr. Leitner, who is the lead archaeologist in this dig site, has a wife, Mrs. Leitner. And she has been exhibiting some very hallucinating kind of stressful tendencies and honestly we're pretty sure she's going insane because she's saying oh a hand is tapping against my window oh a spectral face is appearing on my window so, and basically she's saying oh my gosh things are going bad and now she seems to be really really stressed about something and really really anxious so dr Leitner, of course as a devoted husband is very 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 confused and also very 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 concerned and so he calls for Nurse Leatherin, hoping that it would help his wife. And so Nurse Leatherin does go there and finds the atmosphere very, very queer. All of the people in the archaeologist site seems to be very tense with each other, and all of them are suspicious in their individual manners. And things are not going well. It is very, very... something is wrong. Like we're on the brink of a storm. And all these little suspicious things are happening. And we are not sure if they are related at all or if there really is something going for Mrs. Leitner. And Mrs. Leitner finally, after a little bit, reveals a little bit of a story to Nurse Leatherin, the narrator. She talks about how she had a husband. She had a husband. And her, her husband was named Frederick Bosner. And she found out during the war that he was actually a German spy. And she told her father about it and got him shot and executed in the war. However, over the past couple of years, she has been receiving letters from this mysterious Frederick Bosner, who claims to have resurrected himself from being killed and is claiming that if she is unfaithful, if she marries anyone else except him, she, he, she's going to wreak havoc on her life and possibly kill her. And this is not, not good. This is not a good situation. And that is why she's acting so jumpy and why the atmosphere is so bad. Or that is what Agatha Christie is making us believe. And then, in a frantic turn of events, we find Mrs. Leitner dead on the ground, curled up in the carpet in her room, seemingly have been dent a very strong blow with a blunt object. The murder weapon is nowhere to be found, and the suspect had only 10 minutes of space where no one was looking to enter her room. And we, it seems that everyone has an alibi, but everyone is equally as suspicious and hiding something. Who is the murderer? And in that moment, Ergil Barrow, our lovely, lovely detective, the greatest detective of all time, manages happens, just happens, to be very near this house. So he comes to help in the investigation. And that is where the actual detective story starts. Now, I'm not going to, again, I'm not, as I said, I'm not going to reveal what happens and plot twists and how all the evidence come together. But I will talk about what I liked about the book and my analysis and my take on it. First of all, I really love how Paro always seems to construct his strands of logic, like a philosopher. I actually never noticed this, but now I do, because the structure he uses to logically come to the conclusion upon the truth is quite methodical, and it's actually very similar to the essay structure that I would use in a philosophical investigative essay to In the Pursuit of Truth. He lists all the possibilities and puts them into sections, then develops preconditions for each possibility to be true. And when he believes that one possibility is fact, from there he builds up another possibility and entertains each one of them until he finds the ultimate truth. 
Again, he is pretty much an amazing, amazing dude, and the fact that he can do all this in his mind is what makes him a great detective. And I really love how at the end, when the twist, when all the cards are on the table, we realize all these foreshadowing little bits are actually a part of the larger truth that no one actually could have expected. It really works. Like, every single detail was very important. It's very easy for us, the readers, to understand what Agatha Christie was building up so far. And the plot twist, as usual, was immaculately executed in typical Christie fashion. Truly the queen of mystery. And also I love how she relies on classic mystery elements like, oh, the vengeful husband from the past, the spectral face. However, also utilize the psychology to the deepest sense. As Poirot says within the book, she believed that this case was not about all the hard facts and what happened and the evidence, but a character study, a psychological insight into each one of these people. That is what he needed to find out who the real killer was. And in that sense, it is quite beautiful. The story constructed is has all these underlying themes of love, of devotion, of all these petty things that happen in life. And I thought that was beautiful. And I also thought that representation of English culture at the time is also masterfully crafted. So immersive. I thought that was amazing. Another thing that I have to comment on in a literary sense or a more execution sense is the prose and how it's formed. So the premise of the book is that the main character, the narrator, is a nurse and she has been forced to write a full account of this entire story by a doctor she knows. And she really doesn't want to do it but she just decides to write the entire account of that thing because she has managed to be convinced by that particular doctor. At least that's the premise that Agatha Christie goes for. And honestly, it's super, super well done. Like. The prose, even though it's super easy to read and reads like of a writer, it still feels, it still has this informal touch to it. So it feels like it isn't written by a professional author or writer or a novelist, but in fact written by a nurse and that innate, the prose makes that believable. And we feel, we feel so ingrained into the nurse's personality that it makes everything just seem so real and so close up, even though for me, obviously, this is a radically different setting than I have ever been to and a radically different culture. Even so, it fully immersed me and I read the book in a couple hours really quickly in the course of an afternoon in one sitting. It was, it was truly amazing. And so that is where I will end it off. I will rate this book a 10 out of 10, very rare for me because of how well crafted the mystery is, how well the plot and pacing works, and how well the prose is and the character, and in general, how Christie manages to construct this general premise of a mystery and completely subvert and break our expectations and make the murder make sense. I think Agatha Christie was definitely a high level intellectual person. I don't think a normal person can have all of these facts and stuff, even listed and written out, even though even though she is planning them out, and decide which ones make sense, decide which one is convincing, and how all of it will come together into this one really clear, really easy to understand picture. She is an absolute genius. The book is highly recommended to anyone. And even though the little starting bit is is a little slow paced, but I still think it's very, very compelling because of how well Pay, not well paced, but how compelling it is and how the plot seems to thicken every like two chapters. I think I think you won't find that boring. So in other words, I, I really thought this is a macular mystery book. It is truly the peak of the genre and I would highly recommend this to anyone. And even if you don't have time, you will always have time for Agatha Christie mystery. And like always, your plot coaster, Aaron the plot coaster, have a great day again, again, again. Highly recommend this book. It is amazing. You will not regret it.